Dear friends, I'm absolutely excited to share the publication of my new article, Post-Orientalism and Geopolitics, in the prominent journal Inside Turkey. It's ranked sixth on Google's Islamic and Middle Eastern Studies ranking. My article identifies and explores three debates about Islam that have not only reshaped Islamic studies, but also impacted American foreign policy towards the Muslim world to some extent. I start with Edward Said, who exposed Orientalism as a prejudiced discipline, seeking to exert power over the Islamic world, justifying colonialism, imperialism, and occupation. He presented Orientalism as a geopolitical discourse and argued that Islam is nothing like what the Orientalists say it is. His book, Orientalism, is a landmark, a turning point in Islamic and Middle Eastern studies in the West. While Said says what Islam is not, he does not say what Islam is. It is John Esposito and his merry band of scholars who took over from Said to tell us what Islam really is. Islamic studies in the US and US policies in the Muslim world are inseparable. They have, however, evolved as a result of three debates. These debates were intense with a lot at stake. If a movie was made about these debates, it would look like a sequel to the famous movie, The Gangs of New York. Well, the gang war over Islam raged between Bernard Lewis, the Dean of Orientalism, and John Esposito, the Khalifa of Edward Said. The three debates that I think are constitutive to the new emerging Islamic studies are, number one, the clash of civilizations between Islam and the West. There was a debate about it. Lewis, Bernard Lewis, Sam Huntington, and the Orientalist gang argued that a clash was inevitable and Islam would be to blame for that clash. Esposito's gang, however, said no. This idea of discrete civilizations is ridiculous, they said. Look at Muqtadar Khan. Look at me. Look at Muqtadar Khan, a proud American Muslim. Who does he represent? The Islamic civilization out there or the West right here? They debunked the idea of two discrete civilizations. The second debate was about whether Islam and democracy are compatible. This is actually a narrower version of the question is Islam compatible with modernity, with science, with secularism? Bernard Lewis said Islam and democracy are incompatible. Esposito and Wohl said think again. In this part of the movie, if this was a movie, yours truly makes an Oscar-worthy cameo. The third debate is, or was, maybe still is, about U.S. foreign policy and political Islam. Are Islamists terrorists or are they Democrats? Should we crush them or should we accommodate them? This debate is to some extent is still going on. So who won those battles? Which gang rules the roost? To find out, grab a cup of hot chai, plop into your best reading chair and iqra, read by clicking the link below this video. Read my article, Post-Orientalism and Geopolitics, Three Debates that Inform Islam and U.S. Foreign Policy in this summer's issue of Inside Turkey. And yes, don't forget to get a copy of my new book, Islam and Good Governance. And of course, subscribe to this channel and do not forget to ring the bell icon. Three things. Read my article, read my book, subscribe to this channel, and ring the bell.